Well, uh, Cash and Dustin just arrived. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. Um, and uh, yeah, we got the uh, food we need. And now it's off to the next set of mountains to look for some sheep. top of the saddle we're nearly at the top there and then we're gonna camp it's pretty cool up here um some really big rocky basin so hopefully we find some of sheep it's a pretty nice camp spot for the night we've got water right there and a bit of grass nice and flat and the wind's not too bad so can't complain the uh water boiling for dinner and i've got my feet out drying off they're pretty manky and then tonight we're having the uh, beef chili mac which I'm not a big chili mac person but I uh, figured I'll give it a go and see how it turns out. So I just got a message from uh, Dusty, <coughs> Doran and Tannis and Rach just got a ram with their client, pretty damn sweet. Um, I think they're at the start of the hunt, they're a couple of days in and um, Doran had done his homework last year and <coughs> kind of knew where our ram was hanging out, um, I think, but didn't know if it was legal or not. And so, yeah, I guess he found it, and there was, and happy days. Um, so, it's good news. Um, yeah, we're just gonna <clears throat> pack up soon and um, start hiking, but uh, we've got some more country that we can get into now because uh, that was kind of where Doran was heading, so it's good. Um, yeah, hopefully, we can turn up another ram. Just hiking along in this basin, and uh, a uh, bull caribou walked out at about 380 meters. Um, really, really pretty. He was legal, but a little weak on the shovels and um, points, but still really pretty. So, got some footage, which is neat, and uh, we're gonna fill up with some water in a sec before we hike up to the top of the mountain. Well, we uh, fill up a bit of water and now we're going up this steep bugger. Gets the legs going, that's for sure. Spotted three views so far and uh, kind of bedded on a cool spot. But um, now we're just hiking up to the very top and once we get up there we'll have a more of a view of some of the oh, mountains and into some basins. Hopefully, some rams. It was a cold winter, and so there's still a lot of snow up here, and pretty neat. The, uh, the water is already frozen over on this one. Now it's Kizzidia time. Just kind of started to snow, um, just like little beads of snow, and so we set the seal tub up and see how it turns out. Hold the nanny, and then he's still quite like young, probably nanny as well. Got a uh, flat spot dug out for Reynard's tent. It uh, ends with a rock we put there, but yeah, he's got the solo, so that should fit um, just enough space for his thermos and him, and we're good to go. It's been a grind. Uh, Reynard's doing awesome. He's a trooper and 
been working really hard but yeah we just had a bit of tough luck this hunt so far um the first band of rams i was hoping to find a legal one in um and same with the second one but i think we may have spooked them and the one that was kind of hopeful wasn't really when i, when I looked at the video more and so that's why we kind of came here and yeah but uh doran and Dennis and Rach, um, their hunter left today, apparently, they just said. Um, got his ram and got out of there. So they're gonna um, help out by spotting for us, which will be a, uh, a big help. So yeah, hopefully with a couple more eyes and some different mounds to look at, we can find our own. Well, we uh, got the first serious frost last night, and she's pretty chilly. It was a cold night, even with a good sleeping bag, it still could feel it. My tent pole, uh, I mean my hiking pole is all frosted over, and yeah, so we're gonna sit here for a bit and let it all dry out. It's a bluebird day, so hopefully it stays that way, and. Um, yeah, we'll keep on spot. Well, still just grinding away. Um, seen some caribou. I got pretty excited to up on the mountain. Follow my sheep and then focus on, nope, got some caribou. Um, seen a couple of more ewes and just the same old goats, but yeah. She's been a long day. Um, it's kind of tough to just sit in one spot in the glass for a complete day, but that's what you're going to do in this top country. Ask a bit more and then in the morning we'll probably get up pretty early and uh, pack up and s start heading uh, to the next spot and just glass up the way. It's been a nice day at least. When the sun is out, it's warm. When it's blowing clouds, it's pretty chilly. So, yeah, good down the mountain. Well, <clears throat> she got pretty cold last night. I uh, turned this upside down but still managed to froze it, freeze up uh, around the lid so I had to bust a little to drink some water but she's getting cold out here Well, we made it across the uh, across the creek, and now we're starting the upward um, journey. It's uh, looking pretty thick, so we'll just take our time and get there when we get there. The old hands are getting a bit beat up from uh, this bushwhack, but we're nearly out of the alpine, so. We're into the boulders now. <clears throat> we're nearly up to the, uh, the saddle we're kind of moving forward. I think we just a little bit further to go, but the you know, breeze is coming up the valley now and it's freezing. So, I'm trying not to stop too much. We've been hiking through a few different basins, um, having a look. <coughs> Haven't seen anything yet. I uh, did spot a decent bull moose way down in the valley with a cow, so the rut is on. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going a little bit. Try out one last base and then probably set up camp for the night. And then uh, go from there. Well, crazy. We're on the ice. I had to use the whippet to carve. 
bolts in the nice. It's a uh, rock hard to Um, looking at some videos from last night and because that rim was bedded and I uh, look up and he's gone and now I can't find him um, so I've climbed up the mountain and kind of try to get some different vantage points but can't find him Space either, so um, yeah, I'm not sure where they've gone. I think they might have wrapped around um, the mountain that we're just on. Well, we've got our camp all loaded up, and um, we just started the hike uh, around to this uh, place that we want to check out. Looks like we've got a fair bit of sidehilling through some boulders to come, so I don't mind that, it's not too bad, um, but yeah. We'll see what we find when we get there. Well, we hiked down to the valley bottom. Um, the ramps. They, uh, yeah, they really bamboozle us. I've got no idea where they are. Um, there's that one ram. I didn't uh, see where he went. He was bedded, wear shoes, and then gone. Um, and then. Uh, we looked in a number of basins, gone three uh, pretty decent mountains, and just got to turn them So, tomorrow's another day. We'll look again and uh, go from there. before unless he just wasn't there but that's just the way it goes I guess um just gonna set up camp now and have some dinner yeah in the morning we'll uh, see if those rams come back into this basin if not see what the wind does and then make a plan but um sure it's good to find that ram it was a pretty pretty low point of the hunt walking down off that mountainside not knowing where they are so ups and downs but we'll get it done. Day 15 and um, we're just getting up and packing up camp. I uh, can't see the rams yet. Um, 
they went into the different basins, so I'm not sure if that will come here or not, but um, we'll kind of see what the wind does and then make a plan from there. So we came up to this ridge. Haven't found him yet, but uh, we'll keep looking. It's a pretty bouldery uh, basin, so lots of places they can be hiding. Yeah, we'll just keep on looking and spend it out here until we find him. Packed up camp and just been glassing a little bit. So I'm going to assume that uh, they're in the next one over and that's where we're going to um, The clouds are going to come back over a bit today so hopefully it stays alright. <coughs> we've been pretty, pretty fortunate with the uh, weather for the last couple of days and it's been really nice. So just filling up uh, our water for the day in case there's none up on top. Hard, but it's feeling getting pretty bad. It's hard to keep your energy up after uh, this long chasing after him, but we'll get there. Made it on top and uh, just having a little snack before we head over him. side it was blowing upwards so we don't feel like we went in them but maybe that's what's happened there is a lot of folds um, and it's quite steep so they could still be here so we're gonna just keep um, keep looking and uh, see if maybe they pop out but once again stuff it up so. Well, we uh, hiked back down to the uh, basin, looking back at where the rams were and can't see them. So, I think I uh, must have winded them. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, cover a little bit more ground tonight and then try and find them again in the morning. Packed up camp and uh, 
gonna start hiking up the mountain. I called in a favor and asked Kent to, to get dropped out here and come up and help out, so he's on the way now, which is a big help. And hopefully uh, having a spotter can really uh, help us get in close and seal the deal. But um, yeah, we're gonna hike up here and hopefully find them on the other side in the big basin where we first found them. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thinking about the next move, um, the basin that we're looking down into is kind of the best spot for them to come to. So it's hard to know if they're uh, spooked and just gonna hang out in the rocks or eventually come down and feed. Um, and then if they have spooked where where about they are, we think maybe they're in on one of the north faces in the rocks, but uh, yeah, it's hard to know. We're going to split up and look at a few different spots and hope that we find them. Didn't find the rooms today. Um, spent a bit of time in class and just got for a great talk and uh, yeah, I haven't turned them up. Bit of a bummer. Um, it was awesome that uh, Kent came up and gave us a hand today and he spent the night with us. Um, but tomorrow we're going to pull out so we're going to do a bit of a hike um, through some of the spots and look again um, on the way up. Yeah, it's been a grind, been a tough hunt. Uh, rain has been awesome, but sometimes that's the way it goes, I guess. And uh, yeah, we'll have to get back out here and find these rams again. We're making our way to the kind of last little knob that we're gonna pick up on and look across at the, the end mountain. Um, spend a little bit of time there and then back down and be done so Touched it, I won't believe it. Thanks to Shrepo, Shrepo. Oh, so that happened pretty damn quick. Holy smokes, thought it was over. And uh, the last little ridge that I looked spotted around pop up, and uh, so we knew they were there and worked our way around 400 yard shot. Reynard just smoked him, just one shot dropped him. Big thanks to Kent for coming and helping and being a big part of it. Pretty damn sweet. I can even feel my emotions unloading for you guys. Yeah, it's been a, been a grind, but uh, we got it done. Oh man, Kent are going back to get the packs. And uh, whew, feel a little emotional. 18 days of slogging it out. And we got it done. So, whew, a bit of weight off the old shoulders. And uh, pretty cool. He's a beautiful ram, so keen to get down there and check him out.
walks and hikes and downs because they're tough to go down. <laughs> this is more than a trophy of a lifetime. It's a dream come true. Here with the ram, and uh, he's beautiful. Um, he's nine, maybe ten. I'm not sure about the, the very last one, but hell of a trophy, hell of an animal. He's a uh, really thick, dark coat, or grayish coat, sorry, and heavy, beautiful horns. You can't ask for better. So, hell of a job right hard pushed hard and got it done and thanks to Ken as well but my pleasure that was fun that's what we came for Uh, starting to pack out. Damn, it feels good to pack out a heavy pack. <laughs> Pretty damn cool. How's that pack feeling, Kent? Oh, it's light. Put another one in there. <laughs> Getting the balance a bit there, Reynard? I feel like I have a camper on my back. <laughs> Just hiking down this uh, valley and um, starting to get into the timber and brush and uh, finding lots of sign and scat. It's crazy, so they must have been down here. Yeah. It smells like a sheep piss on it. <laughs> Kent's just sniffing sheep piss, but um, yeah, it's crazy. They must have gone right down low the other day when we couldn't find them. And, hung out here and um, and then started moving back up so it's damn lucky we found them I guess um, and it's surprising how low they'll go sometimes we're uh, nearly at our exit and uh, my phone is about to die so that's it that's all, that's all she wrote uh, can't believe how how it all turned out. Definitely didn't think it would this morning. Um, but, uh, yeah, been a grind. Lots of highs and lows. Lots of hard days, cold days, windy days, rainy days. And uh, we just gotta keep pushing on, I guess. Big thanks to Kent, Dustin, and Cash, the rest of the crew for all the help and uh, support, big and little, it's all very much appreciated. It's a pretty special crew we got, thankful to be a part of it. And uh, big shout out to Reynard Mahunter, he did a good job, worked hard, didn't quit, and we got it done. So, that's about it, peace out.